Hello guys, welcome back to Tech Projects. I am back with another video and this is the second part of the tutorial of Quiz App. So in this video, I am not going to do lots of coding. In this video, I am going to add only questions and also I tell you how to fix warning in the XML files. So error are compulsory and everyone can fix the error but warning are also compulsory to write a better code. So in this video, I am going to show you why this warning come and how to solve that warnings. So this video is going to be very interesting so stick with me to, end, to the end of the video and at last you will learn definitely something great. So don't further delay, now let's start the video and see how to do this. So first of all I open my Android Studio project. So you can see this is my project quiz tutorial and in previous part I left the tutorial here. So if you don't watch previous part then I recommend you first watch the previous part. And you can easily find the previous part in my playlist or you can say in my i button. So let's first solve some warnings and after solving the warnings we have to add some questions. And we have what questions? The questions which we are going to use in our quiz app. So first see what is the warnings. So why this warning come here? So let us so take your cursor on this yellow icon. So it say to collapse empty tag. So why it say to collapse empty tag? So you can see in my linear layout I use two things text view and a progress bar and these are two different things so i can simply collapse it so how i can solve it this error so simply delete this text view from here and simply add a backslash and that's done now you can see the warning is gone so these are the warning because it say to collapse this text view so i can easily collapse it because these two things are different if these two things are same then it does not say to collapse but these two things are different in the linear layout so it say to collapse this now Let's see one more warning now. Now let's take a cursor on over this. So this say to hard coded text. So what is hard coded text first try to understand. In Android Studio we can't use any text directly in our main XML file. Be remember in Android Studio we can't use any text directly in our activity main XML file. For using any text we have to define that text is to our string.xml file. So don't worry about this warning, I will tell you how to solve this warning. So I will solve this warning while adding questions. So skip this warning for now. Now let us suppose I come here. So now let's see this warning. This is the contain question and it say this warning why. So it say to use SP instead of DP. So yes it is good. Always use SP for text sizes and always use DP for dimensions. So now this warning is gone. Now this is only one warning is left and I already say you I can't use any text inside our main XML file. So later I will tell you how to solve this kinds of warning. Now before solving warnings first we have to add questions. So after adding question we can easily solve our all warnings. So let's see how to add question. So for in our quiz app the questions which we are going to use we have to include that question inside our strings.xml. If we want to use add 100 question in our quiz app then we can add 100. If I want only one then I can do this. So for this simply expand your resource folder. After expanding your resource folder now expand your values folder and now click on strings.xml. Now you can see this is the strings.xml. It contain every text which is written your inside your application. It contain every text. Be remember if you define every text inside this string.xml then your text view your button never going to show any warning mark my point so this is the most important thing string.xml is always responsible for every text which contain inside your application so now let's see how to add question so i'm going to add one question for you so for this simply take an open bracket and simply type here string then give any name so this is our question one so i simply type here question one then what you have to do simply close this now here you have to add your question so you can take any question from internet and you can use my questions it is your choice so my first question is what technology is used to make is used to make telephone calls over the internet possible so this is my first question now as you already know our question contain four option and there is one correct answer so for this simply take an again string then give the name question one and this contain option a so under there underscore and then option a so this is option a now close this now you can take any question from internet or you can type mine so mine first option is bluetooth then what you have to do simply copy the string Control c copy and Control v paste so i paste it four times now after copy simply change your name of string names so what is this string name this is basically work as id in xml 
so in xml we assign an id text view button so this is same this is like an id so simply change it name so i give the option b this is option c and this is option d now you have to change text so if you want to appear different options so you have to change text also and it is quite obvious so this is my second option and here i have to display ethernet and this is my third option so this is nfc and this is my last option which is voice over internet protocol so i type here that's done now i have to declare one more string so why one more string because it show the correct answer of that particular question so, so simply take an open bracket type string then give any name so this is our answer one so simply i type here answer underscore one then close this now the correct answer of this question is voice over internet protocol that's done so it is all better to give underscore here so now you can see now our one question added successfully and now in this way we can add as many question in our quiz app we can add up to infinite question into our quiz app so it you can add as many question you can add, add 100 you can add 50 question you can add five question that's done so first before adding more question let's solve the warnings now so i click on activity main xml file now this text view contain the first question and this is the main text view which display our questions so why it issue warning because I already show you, tell you, I can't use any text inside our XML file directory. So we have to access our text by using strings. So I delete this text from here. So now first, on starting my app, I have to display my first question. So simply I type here question one and you can see auto automatically show in suggestion. So I press enter and now you can see this question come here successfully. So this is same as ID. We can ac access our text by using ID. Now I click on button. It show warning so I delete this now uh, yeah I have to display here our option one of question a question one option a so this is the option question one and option a now here I have to display option B of question one so I simply delete this text from here and I simply type here question one underscore B so this is the second option and now you can see the warning is gone now click on Android now here I have to display my third option so third option is question one underscore C and the last is option D. So I delete this text from here and I have to type question one underscore D. So you can see now our almost warning is gone. So now let's see what is the warning. So this is also say we can't use hard coded text inside our XML. So what do you have to do? I have to simply create a string file for this scoreboard too. So I simply open my strings XML and I press enter so many times here. Now I take an open bracket simply type here string. Now I give this name string name score which show my score. Now close this. Now inside this I can simply type anything which I want. So I simply type here score 0 slash 8 because I am going to add 8 question inside my quiz app. So I click on again XML file. Now I delete this text and I simply type here score. So I automatically show insertion of string score. Now press enter and now you can see this warning is gone. Now this warning is say use and instead of write so we can use and instead of write so write and and almost same so simply delete this right from here layout gravity right and simply type here and and that's done now this warning is also gone now there are some warnings here so you can see it is the text view which show there are eight question or which is say question numbers so i open my strings xml i have to declare one more string for this so simply take an open bracket type string then i type simply type here question underscore number and I close this now inside this I can simply type whatever I want so I simply type here 1 8 and question then I open my xml file and here I simply delete this text from here and simply I type here question number which is string xml so it show in suggestion so press enter now you can see this warning is also gone now there are only two warnings is left so let's see so this is our selected option and correct answer so I am not going to remove this warnings because you maybe understand now why this is warnings come due to the hard coded text so i am not going to remove this warning because i have to remove this text view too after ending of the, this quiz tutorial app so it is your choice whether you want to remove this and it is your choice whether you want to not remove so in the last of the quiz app or we can say in the last part of the quiz app we are, i am going to solve these warning too so don't worry about these two warnings now let's see the last warning so it say remove unused name declaration so you, it's it say I don't use this declaration so I can delete this so I can delete this so you can see now there is only two warnings is left so that's done now our quiz app is ready and now you can see in strict xml I can add 
I add one question. Now in, in, in this way you can add as many questions, it is your choice. So I open my previous one quiz app, so this is my project and you can see it contains questions similar as to question strings. So I simply copy this code from here for question 2 and then I paste this code from here, code here. So this is my question 2. Now this can see the question 2 implemented successfully. Now in the next part of the video we will see how to use this question inside our Java file. So don't worry. You have to simply add these questions inside your application. So after adding the application in the next part, we will see how to use these question and these answer. So don't worry about them. Simply add this question. So I am not going to type everything. So I simply copy this code from my previous one app. And uh, my app contain eight questions. So I simply copy this code of it. Now I come here and simply paste the code here. So now you can see my eight question implemented successfully. Pause down video so you can pause down video here and you can type my question or you can take your own questions from internet it is your choice so you can see my every question edit successfully now this is the end of the second part of the tutorial and in the third part we will see how to create a java class with getter and setter and how to hold these getter and setters and in the fourth part the fourth part is the last part of the quiz tutorial app and in the fourth part we will end our quiz tutorial and we finish our quiz application so Thank you for this video. If you have any query, simply comment down below. I try to give the answer of every comment. Please like the video and subscribe my channel for latest update. Thank you. See you soon in next video.